Real us versus them is a culture of how you're raised and what you expect. It's not us versus them, the Generation X starting at age 40 and below. It's not you're in one group or you're in the other. There are people that are 25 years old that would prefer to have the relationship in the hour and a half long pitch, and there are people that are 65 years old that would prefer to get a text message and get a, a quick pitch and figure out all the details. So us versus them, we're talking Gen X, Gen Y today a little bit, but it was really about the culture in which you're raised and how you expect to get information and when those expectations are quick, short attention, hook me and teach me, then that is more common in the X versus Y. But no, it wasn't meant to be divisive in any way. I don't think uh, anybody would see it that way. But anybody that's talked to someone under 30, unfortunately, is talking to the top of their head because they're usually looking down texting, you know. So there is a way that we communicate differently, significantly differently than the other generations before. The reality is it's all technology. It's not that we want to be rude or we want to text or we want eight, inch, eight second attention spans, but that's what we're used to. That's how our friends are communicating. That's how we were raised. So it's a little crazy in there that it's us versus them, but technology's just changed a lot. My wife joked with me the other day, our, our one-year-old son, and she was saying that uh, she can't wait till his friends can tell, we can tell his friends that we're older than the internet. But we're still in that new era, but we are, you know, we're in a, I'm in a little bit of that Generation X, but we just learn differently. I use internet and technology less than the kids that are 22. They don't know any different. They've only had a text message or a Google search for everything. You know, I grew up using an encyclopedia, so I'm somewhere in the middle, but the point is to just know where the clients are, how they're taking information in, and then give them the information that they need in the medium that they want. So I wouldn't send a text message to every 70-year-old client that I had, but if they wanted to hear that way, I would. I wouldn't send a handwritten letter to every 18, 22 year old client because it would take three days to get there and they'd rather have had it three days prior in a text message. So it's just a little different. I agree wholeheartedly. Technology has really changed communication uh, patterns in people and the younger generations, the generation Xers, Wires, and Millennials that have grown up with it, you know, this is intuitive to them and this is part of the fabric of their life. They, I think it's important to realize that the average age of real estate agents in the United States has grown in the last couple of years and is 57, yet one out of three of first-time buyers today are Generation X and Ys, and, and that's a 30-year-old plus or minus a couple of years. So I think it's very important that the older generation of agents, you know, that they don't have a communication gap when they're, you know, dealing you know, more on a day-to-day -day basis with, you know, the younger generation buyer because it's it's not divisive at all, like uh, Reed said. It really is, you know, trying to have these these two groups understand the communication, primarily the, the 57, average 57-year-old real estate agent, having them understand the communication patterns and habits of the younger buyers. That's who they're going to come in contact with on a growing basis in the next few years.